Hi, my name is Robert Owens. I'm CEO of Louisiana LED, and I wanted to go over the measurement of foot candles, lux, and lumens, as well as how that may affect us in the world of, say, fluorescent bulbs. The non-standard way of measuring light is in foot candles. A foot candle is basically you have one light source, one foot away. How much light falls onto this is referenced as a foot candle. That's how much illuminance is in that square foot. A lux, which is 10 foot candles roughly, is a basically like a foot or meter candle. It's basically going to be one light source at one meter away and the amount of light that falls on that entire square meter. So a lux is a more accurate reference of how much light is visible. Lux also takes into calculation how the human eye sees. So it's not just the amount of light falling on an object or the amount of light available, such as a lumen and a foot candle. Basically one lumen is one foot candle. They're just two different references of illumination. A lux is 10, roughly 10 foot candles or 10 lumens and what you get with the lux is the amount of light that is actually useful to the human eye rather than, rather than the amount of light that's visible. So if you had, let's say, you had one light bulb that was putting out one lux, I'm sorry, 100 lux at, uh, at one square meter, you take that same measurement and you have it be the same 100 lumen. So how do you use all this in your everyday life? Basically, when you're going to figure out how much light you need on the floor of a room, uh, in the United States they often tell you that they want uh, one foot candle. So you need to find out the lux of the, eye, of the project or the lux of the light at what distance because that's going to tell you how many lux or how many lumens or foot candles are on the floor. By doing that, you'll be able to measure the light. Now that said, you can have, like I have two lights. We have the Titan light and I have the uh, Goliath High Bay light. Both of them are rated at 18,000 lumens. The issue with that is the power behind the Titan light is significantly more than that on the High Bay. So at one foot, which is typically where a lumen or a foot candle is measured, they're both 18,000 lumens. At 35 feet, we go down all the way to maybe 20 foot candles on the Goliath High Bay, but we're at 88 foot candles with the night, I'm sorry, the Titan uh, LED light. So there is a difference between the two. That said, you look at a regular fluorescent bulb that starts out at maybe 1800 lumens or 2800 lumens, and you try and, and one foot away, it may be 18 to 2800 lumens. The issue that we have with that is that 2800 lumens inside a fixture with reflection back, by the time it hits the, hits the area, you're typically going to lose around 50 to 60 percent of the light that that entire bulb is burning. With an LED bulb that's measured at, say, 2000 lumens, like our Challenger version 2, that's measured at 2000 lumens at one foot away because all the light we have controlled in a specific way to actually fire forward, you're getting all of that light and you're getting about 98% of all the light shining down versus it reflecting back in a fixture and down. There are some really nice, really expensive reflective fixtures that work for high bays and things like that that do a good job of getting an extra 10 to 20% of the light down. And that's wonderful. However, when you're measuring lux, which is the useful light for the human eye, there's so many wavelengths in a fluorescent that just aren't available that we just don't see but are measured in that lumen output that uh, we just don't get the full range of light like we do with an LED so therefore the perceived light or the lux is going to be much higher on one of our Challenger version 2 lights or Apollo T8s or our new DLC uh, T8 lamp than a traditional fluorescent. So we can take and replace two 2800 lumen 32 watt T8s with one Challenger version 2 2000 lumen bulb. The reason for that is the way that we dissipate the light, the way that we project it down, and the way that we focus on trying to get lux, not just a measurement of lumen and not just a measurement of foot candles, but rather going for lux, which gives us the true way we're going to see. I know that if I have, I have 50 lux on the ground, that's 500 lumens on the ground that's visible light, but 50 lux means that it's a very good visible area. 
Uh, you look at outside, just for an example, if you go outside on a bright sunny day that has nothing going on, no clouds, no nothing, you're, you're roughly 10,000 foot candles. And so that's how many foot candles are falling on one square foot. So that's going to be 10,000 lumens on the ground is regular daylight. A window by the sun can actually be around three to 4,000 foot candles. So having the ability to know that looking for lux on the ground or lux on an area is what the, the useful light is going to be and that's really what we need to go for. And looking at comparing fluorescence to LEDs, fluorescence will almost always equate to LEDs in a, at about a 50 to 60 percent fashion. So if I have a 32 watt CFL or compact fluorescent, I can actually replace that with roughly a 16 watt LED. And in some cases, if we steer the LEDs properly or have a higher efficiency LED, we can go down to 10 or 12 watts to replace 32 watt CFL. And so we can cut a fluorescence by half. The other thing we do there is we remove the mercury, we remove the hazardous materials from there. We have lamps that are 100% recyclable and we know we're not going to be leaching mercury or hazardous products into our ground. So I uh, hope that helps with foot candle and lumens. I uh, appreciate it.